Like history, we've all had a first date. But unlike most of us, history didn't go to the cinema or the wrestling. It didn't share a romantic prawn cocktail over a glass of South African Chardonnay. That's because history's first date was... The Iron Age! We are history! So what would it be like to travel back in time to the Iron Age? Well, frightening and disorientating. And there'd be the constant worry that your actions would muddy the time stream continuum and change the course of history forever. But it might also be incredibly fascinating. For this Living Archaeology special, I've asked these five volunteers to join me at this reconstructed Iron Age farm in Somerset, give up modern life and live just as they would have done in the Iron Age. For some reason, they've agreed. Together, we're taking part in the most extensive historical experiment ever undertaken in televisual history. And we've got just two days to do it in. It'll never work. Iron Age Britons lived in roundhouses such as these. The whole tribe would have lived together in one room like this. It would have been a bit like an extremist religious sex commune, only without the extremist religious sex, and with a chief instead of a bagwan. And it would have been the neighbouring tribes burning your houses to the ground, not the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms. But how did they build their houses? These days, if you rub poo on your walls, it probably means you're emotionally disturbed. But back in the Iron Age, they insulated their houses with a mixture of clay and dung. Don't worry, it isn't mine. The first thing we need to do is get our volunteers into some authentic Iron Age clothing. Their garments are based on patterns worn by hippies, and they're as close to real Iron Age clothes as we can be bothered to get. For my own costume, I've consulted a variety of books on the period. So, are you ready to go back in time? <laughs> easy, easy. <laughs> what a bunch of Celts. The village needs to have a chief that... that Every Iron Age tribe would have had a chief. Indeed, the Iron Age word for chief, chief, is where we get our word for chief, chief. But who will our tribe elect? So who votes for David? Right, and who votes for Jean? Looks like Jean's chief then. <laughs> no, no. What? She is a woman. And? And Miles, right? Start, the tribe have made an unauthentic decision. They didn't let girls be chief in the Iron Age. They would have made their decision based on a number of important factors. I booked the village. It's my idea, and I've got the best costume, right? I am chief. That's it. Right, I'm going to hold my breath until you make me chief. Do you think this is what the Iron Age would have been like? I think there would have been less arguing. So what would our farm have looked like in 150 BC? Let's have a look. It's the same. It's always been an Iron Age farm. It's six o'clock, and whilst I relax from the stresses of being chief, Miles and Jean have agreed to prepare dinner for the tribe. Oh, what is that? It's chicken stew with kale and beans. Ugh. Not eating that. That'll give me the squit. Uh, uh, hello. Yeah. Um, a number 10. Yeah, a 70. And an 84. With, yeah, with prawn crackers. Yeah, excellent. Do you, do you deliver? Yeah. I'm surprised how it's turned out. It's Jean's recipe. Hello, David. Hello, Jean. There's still some stew left if you want it, David. I'm not that hungry, actually, Miles. Um, I think the chief would have let his subjects eat the stew. I'll probably just get an early night, I think. Night. Night falls on our first day in the Iron Age. But for one villager, it will be a far from quiet night. Oh, shit.
David, are you okay? Oh, shit, yeah. I just had a really, really bad night. Oh, dear. I think I got a bug off Miles' stew. You didn't have any of Miles' stew. I got terrible diarrhoea. Oh, God. It was like turning on a tap. Oof. At one stage, I nearly didn't make it out of the hut, you know. Luckily, I found somewhere before I got caught short, but, oh. 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 How are you getting on with David? Can you ask me another question? OK, uh, my nominations for eviction are Miles, because of his cooking, and... Um, can I say Miles again? Miles. Iron Age people had to be entirely self-sufficient, rather like Tom and Barbara in The Good Life. If they needed things, they would have traded with their neighbours, Margot and Jerry, or made it themselves. So, uh, David, David, what is it exactly you're building? Uh, sacrificial altar, nothing really. All oh, right, OK. Oh, uh, Kieran, yeah. could you uh, pop over to the garden centre and see if they've uh -huh. got a sickle and uh, about 40 foot of wicker? Wicker, right, yeah. OK, yeah, sure. These days, the high point of the Celtic calendar is a game against rangers. But back in the Iron Age, it was the Feast of Beltane, the Festival of Light. The tribe would have been led by their druid in a ritual of symbolic purification. There's little or no surviving evidence of what went on in these rituals, so I've entirely made it up. It's my belief that the druid would have begun by drinking goat's blood. Now, of course, I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm using goat's milk with food colouring. In order to get closer to their gods, they'd have eaten hallucinogenic mushrooms, like these. The climax of the Feast of Beltane was the sacrifice of victims to a giant effigy, the infamous Wicker Man. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, David, but it's all that the garden centre had. It's just going to be embarrassing sacrificing Miles on that. S sorry, David, sacrificing? Burn it! Burn the it. weakest member of the tribe would have been bound hand and foot on the altar, ready for the sacrifice. Before cutting the victim's throat, the druid, whacked off his head on mushrooms and food colouring and egged on by an overly excited tribe, would have set fire to the wiki wiki wah wah man. And then, taking his sacred sickle, struck home the blow that would guarantee fertility and prosperity for the coming year. David? So, our Iron Age is over. It's time for the Celts to hand over to the Romans. Quite literally, they're filming Time Watch here this afternoon. But what have we learnt? Well, that when the going gets tough, the Celts get going that I've got an allergic reaction to food colouring, and that no matter how hard life was for Iron Age Britons, it's even harder reenacting it. Goodbye. This is a farce. Right. That sort of attitude would have got you thrown out of an Iron Age village for being a slacker. Can you not wag your finger in my face, please? I am the chief, right? I'll wag whatever I want. Come on, bit of privacy here, please. We're making a television programme, not filming a documentary.